Please, please, thank you, thank you. Hello, ladies. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our final uh, show of The Little Mermaid and to our production. But before we begin with this spectacular performance, there are a few things that I must tell you about. First of all, we want to maintain a relationship of respect with this theater, so please remember there is no drinking and no food consumption allowed within the theater. If you are hungry or thirsty, please wait until the end of Act One when we will have a short 15-minute intermission. All right? Great. And second of all, please remember if there are any emergencies, there are four emergency exits, two at the bottom, left and right, and two at the top, next to the sound booth. I hope you all have a great show. I'm your hostess, Lena, and today we will be presenting our great show. I hope you all enjoy and have a great night.
Is he in mysterious fathoms below? King of the seas, why that's nautical nonsense! Nothing but a superstition! The king of the ocean gets angry, ah. and when he gets angry, beware! I'm telling you, lad, when King Triton is mad, how the wave tools look, rock, cool, and fro. Hold on, good luck, as down you go! Please, enough seafaring. We must get back to court and honor your father's dying wish to take up his crown. Suppose I don't want his crown. You'd forsake his kingdom and all of his treasures. Treasures? You mean like this? Who needs it? We drink straight out of the bottle, don't we, boys? Aye. Or this? Not when we have the sun and the moon to light our way. Ah. Or this? No thanks, I'd rather eat with my bare hands. Yes! You're a prince, sire, not a common sailor. These men are anything but common. They're free, Grimsby, truly free. They don't have to answer to anyone but the sea. I'd rather be a sailor than a prince any day. This is where I belong. Everything seems more real here Strange how at home I feel here in the tide's swift flow And when the pearl is strong I almost think I hear the sea Wild and free Calling me from fathoms below There it is again! Captain, now follow that voice to the ends of the earth if we have to. Aye, aye, Captain! The sperm is out there in the bottomless blue and it's a to the starboard evo. Watch out for him, lad, or you'll go to your ruin in mysterious fathoms below. Hey, Ariel, there you are, flounder. <laughs> Whoa, freaky. <laughs> What's the matter, flounder? Have you never been to the surface before? Yeah, sure. Me and the other fish in my school, we come up here all the time. Yeah, is that is that so? We're yeah. We're, we're not afraid of sharks or boats or fishermen. What's, what's a chum bucket? 
Are those for real? You are afraid, aren't you? No, I'm not. I'm here now, aren't I? With you. Flounder, um, you're blushing. It's sunburn. You get it up here. Wait, are you flirting with me? Gross! <laughs> no way. But if I was? Hey, guess what I found? It was floating on the wake of a giant ship. <laughs> Treasure? I'll say. Look. Cool. Have you ever seen anything so amazing in your entire life? What is it? I don't know. Airspeed. Check. Altitude. Check. Landing gear. Check. Clear the runway. Ah! Aerial. I know just who to ask. Scuttle, look what we found. Ooh. More human paraphernicular, eh? You asked the right bird. I happen to be an expert on that very speciality. Can you tell us what it's for? Hmm. This. This is, this is rare. Redonkulously rare. And in cysteine condition. What? What is it? This is a dingle hopper. A dingle hopper. Commonly used in saloons, yes. Of the beauty variety. Human likes, uh, humans like to wear their hair and tails. Pony, pig, duck, doesn't matter to them. A primp here and a twirl there and voila, a pomp adorable. And all thanks to... The dingle hopper. I'll give you two sand dollars for it. Scuttle, no. Oh, come on, kid. On the open ocean, you won't get more than a few clams, but I'm prepared to offer. I'm not selling it, Scuttle. I'm saving it for my collection. <laughs> mm. Well, then, how's about a trade? I've got something marvelous, museum quality, really. A branded, bulbous, snarf blat. Second cousin to the tuba. It makes music. Sure thing, kid. Give it a try. <laughs> <coughs> Why? It makes music so wonderful. So absolutely marvelous. Music? Oh my god, the concert. I completely forgot. My father's gonna kill me. The concert was today? Yes. Thank you, Scuttle. You, you change your mind and want to sell. You come back to me, you hear? Benevolent merfolk, creatures of the deep, today marks a special anniversary, for on this fateful day, many years ago, I inherited my father's kingdom and banished the sea witch Ursula forever. And so, and so, it is time for us to celebrate. In honor of the occasion, I present to you our very own master of ceremonies. I introducing the court composer. Horatio Thelongus Ignatius Crustaceus Sebastian. Good morning to y'all. So, Sebastian, what do you have in store for us today? Oh, I got a special song just for the occasion. And it's going to be performed by none other than your seven lovely daughters. I wrote this little number for my star pupil. And who might that be? Your youngest, Ariel. Such a boy, that child. Not as clear as ice, pitch as pure as water. Why, I haven't heard such magnificent sound since, well. Since Her Royal Highness. May she rest in peace. Ah, you're going to be a proud papa, you'll see. If only she'd show up for rehearsals once in a while. Let the merriment begin. <laughs> We are the daughters of Triton, great father who loves us and named us well. Aquata and Trina, Athena, Athena, Amana, and Ariel. In concert, we hope to enlighten the hearts of the Merfolk with music swell. Aquata. <laughs> Little 
voice to her, presenting her to you. To sing a song, Sebastian wrote her voice is like a bell. It's our sister, Maria. Poseidon as the sister of yours, Spawn. Apologies, sire, but that girl of yours, she's going to be the death of me, swimming when she should be singing. If I had that solo, this would have never happened. That girl is angling for trouble. I'll say. Give her the hook. Fish pants? I'm even better than that. But honestly, Daddy, you let Ariel get away with everything. Now, now, I love all of my daughters equally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, please. That answer is kind of tuna and twice as oily. Yeah. Arista is prettier than Ariel, Andrina is smarter, Alana is sweeter, Athena is older, and Adela. Let's face it, Daddy, you're the only male attention Adela's ever gonna get. <laughs> hey, what if you thought that Ariel doesn't? Naked ambition and a willingness to kill. All right, that's enough. <laughs> One son, Sebastian, was that too much to hope for? <laughs> One son! <laughs> Please, sire, don't go pointing your puppy's trident at me. I am very sorry, Sebastian. You might go whipping up a hurricane by mistake. Well, look what the catfish dragged in. Hello. Ha <laughs> ha, Ariel, young lady. I just forgot, that's as all. As a result of your careless behavior. Careless and reckless behavior. The entire celebration was... Ruined! Completely destroyed! This concert was to be the pinnacle of my distinguished career. Sebastian. And now, thanks to you, I'm the laughing stock of the entire kingdom. We give up a day with the whale of a guy. I don't think back up for anybody. Mama loved me best, but she's gone. <laughs> do you mind? Oh, 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 you always do you always do this. this. Ariel, please. <clears throat> you have been given such a gift. I know, I know. My mother's voice. It's a wondrous talent that demands stewardship and care. So please, for the sake of her memory. I will. Dad, okay, I promise. I will. Oh, look at this aerial spot. No, it all Siegel kept going on and on. And it was Siegel? Like... Seagull! <laughs> You went up to the surface again? But nothing happened. Well, you could have been seen by one of those barbarians, one of those humans. God, they're not barbarians. They're dangerous. Traps and harpoons. Like it or not, Ariel, you are my youngest, my baby. And so I care about you the most. <laughs> I'm old enough to look after myself. Not one more step, young lady. I shoot. As long as you live under my reef, you'll live under my rules. If you just listen to me for once. That's the last time you're going up to the surface. Ever understood. You're so unfair. <laughs> She's willful, headstrong, stubborn as a barnacle. Teenagers, you give them an inch and they swim all over you. <laughs> I can govern a kingdom, but I can't control my own daughter. I was too harsh. She'll learn to fear me, and I don't want that. She needs her mother, Sebastian, and, and so do I. If only she were here, she'd know just what to say. She'd firmly and yet gently help the girl to find her way. She'd know what to forbid and what we must allow. She'd have the strength and patience that I lack somehow. Oh, but I would give. It's difficult, sure, but you got to toughen up. For Ariel's sake, I'm telling you, that child needs constant supervision. That's not a bad idea. So I'm to watch over her every move. Her every size. Her every dog paddle. Her every dive. Hmm. Sebastian, I think you just gave me a brilliant idea. You are just the crab to do it. You heard me. From now on, Ariel is your responsibility. No, no, but your majesty, she's a clever mermaid. I'm just a crustacean. Surely you ought to pick someone higher on the evolutionary scale.
mistress of the deep. Beauty of Rome. You should have seen it, all those merfolk singing Trident's praises and cursing your name. Declaring it a national holiday. Holiday! My blowhole. Day, day he stole my half of the kingdom! <laughs> to think your very own flesh and blood. And he double-crossed you. His own sister. Casting you into exile, a life of shame and unceasing solitude. In the shadowy depths of a serpentine sea. All right, all right. Don't blow your fuses, boys. <laughs> it should have been mine. Kid, a squirmy little squid. I was number seven, born of seven little girls, seven little pearls, pretty as could be, perfect to a T, all except for me. Ugly as a slug, hideous to hog. Daddy found me loathsome and disgusting, I could tell. They all got adored, I just got ignored. Plasties is guilt a magic shell. Used to belong to my papa beside full of lethal spells and hexes, my little sea snakes, the perfect gift for a spurned, dangerously unstable child. Most of all, Daddy loved one sister, so feminine, so fresh, so fine. I would watch as he hugged and kissed her, and I hated her guts from the bottom of mine. Daddy's little angel, Daddy's little sweet, such a little frilly fan. She was spice and everything nice and I dreamed and I schemed how to put her on ice daddy's little princess how could I compete with a girl so heaven sent just one spell from the shell and back to heaven she went <laughs> next what did I do daughter number two in a whirlpool where I left her spinning round. Daughters three and four washed up on the shore. Sadly, five and six were never found. And it didn't make my father love me, but it didn't bring me down. Oh no! It was sad though when dad caught that rare and very lethal flu. So true for you. With no sisters in line above me, I inherited the whole day. Was it fun? Oh, a ton, so much fun. I forgot that my dad also had an additional tot. Yes, a son, still aged one. But I figured, so what? So that's not no little baby grew and grew. He grew into you, no ho. Triton, a male heir. Soon as he came of age, he stole everything from me. Every pond, every puddle, every lake, every ocean. So I, darling, the sea snakes. It's time we take revenge. Revenge on what he loves most. For now he has a child. Oh, sweet. But rather wild. And she has him wrapped around her flimsy little fin. She will be our end. She'll be what we use. Beatty can't refuse. There's no way we'll lose. Daddy's little angel, daddy's little pet, daddy's little priceless gem. So sassy, so smart. The key to his heart, win her as it were, it'll rip him apart. Daddy's little princess, she's the one to get. Now just take it from a pro, just get daddy's little angel. Trust me, fellas, I know.
He doesn't understand me, okay? He doesn't even try. I've never felt at home here. Home's with your family, isn't it? What if home isn't the place you were born? What if it's a place you have to discover for yourself? I'd miss you if you were gone. You would? Not in a dopey way. Not in a crazy, hopeless, I'm so in love, but she doesn't know I'm alive kind of way. Not like that at all. You know, I, I gotta go. Oh, wait. Thunder, you're very sweet. Dad's never even met a human, but he still thinks the worst in them. I just don't see how a world that makes such wonderful things could be so bad. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl, the girl who has everything? Look at this trove, treasures untold. How many wonders can one cavern hold? Looking around, here you think, sure, she's got everything. I've got gadgets and gizmos aplenty. I've got who's it's and what's it's galore. You want thingamabobs? I've got 20. But who cares? No big deal. I want more. I want to be where the people are. I want to see, want to see them dancing, walking around on those, what do you call them? feet. Flipping your fins, you don't get too far. Legs are required for jumping, dancing, strolling along down the, what's that word again? Street. Up where they walk, up where they run, up where they stay all day in the sun, wandering free. Wish I could be part of that world. What would I give if I could live out of these waters? What would I pay to spend a day warm on the sand? Bet you on land they'd understand. Bet they don't reprimand their daughters. Bright young women sick of swimming ready to stand, dance, ready to know what the people know, ask them my questions and get some answers, what's a fire and what is it, what's the word, burn, when's it my turn, wouldn't I love, love to Tell me, child, you got Trav Sebastian. <laughs> what is all this? You know, just a few knickknacks I've collected, that's all. <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself if your poor father knew about these places. No, 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 no. You're not going to tell my father, are you? Come on, Sebastian, Sebastian, stop it. You know, he'd never understand. <laughs> Listen to me, Ariel. For my sake, as well as your own, it's time you kept your mind on your music. 
From now on, you'll have voice lessons every day. And perhaps take up an instrument. Something ladylike. The she harp, maybe. Why, sure, a nice harp made out of driftwood and decorated with mother of pearl. Aryan? Somebody's got to nail that girl's fins to the floor. Aryan! Carefree and alive as the sea itself. Where? Well, what do you know? Shh, Scuttle, be quiet. Hey, I don't hear it. you. We're being intrepidatious. It's too much to hope for, isn't it? Somewhere out there, a girl who's a match for a guy like me. those broad shoulders and two eyeballs, the same color. No variety. I don't know. <laughs> I think he's really handsome. You do? Trust me, Grimsby. When I come across the girl of my dreams, it'll hit me like, like lightning. Oh, no, 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 no. You're getting something. The king fights on the be very angry indeed. Back to the hatches. The number one below deck. And quickly. Eric, take the wheel. Whoa. The spherical's going haywire! Careful, Scuttle! Watch out! Ariel! Oh, oh good heavens! Oh. Don't worry, Grimsby. I'll get you home safely. Kid, 
before we're divulged. Ah! Ah! Eric. You just adore making my pulse race, don't you? A girl rescued me. She pulled me right out of the surf. Oh, you took and she was singing. You took a terrible tumble there, boy. Come on. Ah, oh, that voice. I can't get it out of my head. It was the sound of the sea. No. Like so. oh. I'll prove it to you. I'll find her. And I'll thank her for saving you my life. You best come with me a night of good sleep and you'll be as good as new. Please, you have to believe me. You've heard it too many tall tales, my boy. No, she was real. Yes, of course she was. As real as the siren, as real as mermaid on rocks. Let's go.
sister of yours is as slippery as an elf. Where has she swum off to now? I need to find her before her daddy goes looking. Good luck. She's in La La Land. That girl has swum head over tails in love. In love? Ariel? Come on, Flounder. Who's the lucky merman? Gee, I don't know. But I you know didn't her even know it was love until the second chorus. As I said, but you know her better than anybody. You follow her everywhere. No, not anymore. Not since she started chasing after humans. <gasps> oh, no way. <laughs> humans? I hope and pray I didn't just say humans. Uh -oh. And this new love of us. Don't ask me. The the town that I He's one of them? <laughs> a real human? The two-legged kind? Oh! No, Daddy's gonna be rude. Getting outside her species. <laughs> Thanks, Flounder. You're a regular major fish. <laughs> I can't believe this. Water all around you, child. And you still gotta play with fire, Ariel! Can she be? When will she come again? Calling to me. Calling to me. Calling to me. Somewhere there's a girl who's like the shimmer of the wind upon the water. Somewhere there's a girl who's like the glimmer of the sunlight on the sea. Somewhere there's a girl who's like a swell of endless music. Somewhere she is singing and her song is meant for me. And her voice, it's sweet as angels sighing. And her voice, it's warm as summer sky. And that and spins me round until it seems I'm flying her voice. Attend! I vow to find her, and I will. I have a better idea. On the eve of your 21st birthday, we'll host a marvelous ball and invite countless eligible ladies from far and wide. Ugh, I knew it. To sing for you. What? What better, oh yes, a contest. What better idea to find your mysterious voice. You'll be married at sunset, just as your father decreed. Yes, why well, yes, that's how we'll find her. <laughs> oh, she's out there somewhere. I, I just know it. Yes, indeed we should. You have my word. My word, yeah. I can sense her laughter in the ripple of the waves against the shoreline. I can see her smiling on the moonlight as it settles on the sand. I can feel her waiting just beyond the pale horizon. Singing out a melody too lovely to withstand. And her voice, it's there as dusk is falling. And her And still I hear it calling Her voice Strange as a dream Real as the sea If you can hear me now Come set me free Come set me free
didn't choose it. It just happened. Oh, child. Look, <laughs> I thought maybe, just maybe, you would be happy for me. <laughs> happy for you. Happy? Because you're going plumb crazy now. And please, you got to get your head out of the clouds and back in the water where it belongs. But I don't belong here. I never have. And if only I could be up there instead, walking on the very same ground he is, breathing the very same air. Down here is your home. Look, the human world, it's a mess. Life under the sea is so much better than anything they got up there. Uh, you're wrong, I swear. Believe me, child, it's true. Seaweed is always greener than somebody else's leg. You dream about going up there, but that is a big mistake. Just look at the world around ya, right here on the ocean floor. Such wonderful things around ya, what more is you looking for? Under the sea. Under the sea, darling, it's better down where it's wet. I take it from me. Up on the land, they work all day. Out in the sun, they slave away. While we devoting full time to floating under the sea. Down here, all the fish is happy. It's off through the waves they roll. Beyond the play under the sea, under the sea, under the sea, under the sea. Nobody beat us, fry us and eat us in Africa sea. We want the land, folks love to cook. Under the sea, we have the hook. We got no troubles, life is the bubbles. Under the sea, under the sea, under the sea, under the sea. Under the sea. Under the sea. Since life is sweet, yeah, we got the beat, yeah, naturally, e -e 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 even the sturgeon and the ray, they get the earth and start to play. We got the spirit, you got to hear it under the sea. The new play, the fruit, the cup, play, the hop, the place, play, the bass, and they sound. The brass, play, the brass, the chop, play, the top, the fruit, the fruit, the fruit, the soul. The ray, he can play the leaves on the street, the trout rocking out the black. They know where it's at, and know that blowfish blow. I'm 
under the sea When the sardines begin to be green It's music to me What do they got a lot of sand We got a hockey station band Each it's a clam, you know how to jam you yeah. Under the sea Each it's a slug, you're cutting a rug You're yeah. under the sea We got a hockey station band You're yeah. under the sea so snail, you know how to fail, yeah, that's why it's hot to hide the water, yeah, we in luck, yeah, luck, yeah, yeah, See, child, that's what I'm talking about. Are you? Ariel! 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 Where is she, Sebastian? Where? She just left. You just missed her. <laughs> to think she'd turn her back on her family this way. Betray her own kind. Gosh, she can't help it, sire. Well, I taught her myself, and now she makes a mockery of everything we hold dear. Now, where is she? If I only knew. She keeps secrets from me, Sebastian, not from you. I wager you know where she is. Now take me to her. Ariel, tell the truth. Did you save a human from drowning? Who, who told? Which one of you? Sorry, Ariel, I'm nothing but a guppy. Well, you, you said lousy every, guppy. You did every single solo. It's not fair. That's enough. Please leave us alone. You too, Sebastian. So, did you? I had to save the prince. <laughs> you had to. Without me. He would have perished. Ariel, have you lost your senses? He's a human. You're a mermaid. I can't hate them just because they're different. Okay, perhaps you can. But it's just not in me to... Different. Different. I think you have a misconception, young lady. They catch us with their hooks. They spear us with their blades. But they're not all like that. Well, have you forgotten what they did to your mother? She slips out one morning for an innocent swim and never returns. You can't prove I know it in my heart, and that's enough. Murderers, all of them. You can't blame all humans for the few of wicked ones. Few wicked ones, eh? I won't have you build a shrine to them. What? <laughs> Worshipping their rubbish. Wait, no. Their debris that sullies our waters. Stop, Dad. Totems of their decadence. What, what are you doing? Never again, Ariel. No. Never again. He broke all of my things, all of my human stuff. If he really and truly loved me, then he would have never... Child, it's because he loves you. Yeah, well, he sure has a funny way of showing it. Look, he can break every single treasure I own, but he can't break me. Well, yeah, I might just break his heart. And you, some friend you turned out to be, bringing him here to my secret place. But for your own good, child. I pray you wake up from these... Soon. You're swimming in some dangerous waters. <laughs> only he would look if only he could see. Could love me as I am instead of how he wished I'd be. He doesn't really care. He doesn't want to know. I hate him. Yes, I hate him. God, I hate him so.
Poor sweet child. She has a very serious problem, hasn't she? Hmm, if only there were something we could do. Who are you two? Poor child. So tragic. So misunderstood. Sad child. Life's looking. Shall we say? Not good. No. Who will these rules and memories? Who will help her get her man? Sweet child. Perhaps the sea witch can. Wait, you can't possibly mean Aunt Ursula. She knows your dreams. Father says her magic is evil. She'll grant your prayer. Please, I have to go. She'll cast a charm. A tiny spell. Why the alarm? No one will tell. No one will care. It's your affair. Sweet child. Sweet child. Dear child. Poor child. Sad child. We'll bring you to her lair right now. Met in half a sec, you're a prince and you are reconciled. Together? Forever. Mistress of the Deep, you've got a visitor. I, I think I should go. Now, now, you mustn't get cold fins. Ariel, darling, don't be shy. It's me, Auntie Ursula. Yeah, um, I'm going to go. No nonsense. We're family. Father says you're wicked and hateful. Yes, I suppose he does. But, well, your father says the same thing about humans, now doesn't he? And we both know that's not true. Why did he banish you? Well, the ocean wasn't big enough for the two of us. <laughs> and, and now I see he's driven you away as well. He doesn't understand me. Oh, but I do, Dumpling. We're alike, you and I, girls with ambition. <laughs> Nothing scares a man more, now does it? So, tell dear old Auntie Ursula everything. I'm in love with someone. <laughs> a human. Oh, yes, this prince fellow. Hmm? <laughs> well, he's quite the catch. The answer is simple. Simple. <laughs> You've got to become a human yourself. A human? Well, can you help me? Oh, help you, my dear, sweet child. It's what I do. It's what I live for. Helping poor and Fortunate merfolk, such as yourself, poor souls with no one else to turn to. I admit that in the past I've been a nasty. They weren't kidding when they called me, well, a witch. But you'll find that nowadays I've mended all my ways. Repentance in the light and made a switch. True? Yes. And I fortunately know a little magic. It's a talent that I always have possessed. And here lately, please don't laugh. I use it on behalf of the miserable, lonely, and depressed. Pathetic, poor, unfortunate souls. In pain, in need. This one longing to be thinner, that one wants to get the girl. And do I help them? Yes, indeed. These poor, unfortunate souls. So sad, so true. They come flocking to my culture, crying spells, Isla, please, and I help them. Yes, I do. Now it's happened once or twice. Someone couldn't pay the price, and I'm afraid I had to make a cross of balls. Yes, I've had the odd complaint, but on the whole, I've been a saint to those poor, unfortunate souls. So, here's my 
best offer, babykins. I know a spell that'll turn you into a human for three days. Now, it's got a procedural clause, a squid pro quo, if you will. <laughs> Before the sun sets on the third day, you've got to get dear old Princey to kiss you. If you do, why, you'll stay human forever. Wait, and if I don't? Nothing drastic, I'm sure. Oh, look, fine print. <clears throat> Your soul is mine forever, and you're doomed to spend eternity in wa my watery hell so glare. Oh, <laughs> Lawyers, don't you just love them? There is one more thing we haven't discussed yet. My fee? I don't have anything. I'm not asking much, just your voice. My voice? Oh, don't worry. I have a perfect place for it. Your grandpappy Poseidon gave his magic trident to your father with this. This was his gift. Poor moi. Your magic shell. So you've heard of it. Father says it's the source of all of your witchcraft. Oh, nonsense. He says you die without it. Die? Oh, please. It's merely a bauble, a vessel for your voice. Trust me, darling, your vibrato, your legato, and even your belt. They'll all be safe and sound in here. Wait, if I don't have my voice, then how can I ever? Well, you'll have your looks, your pretty face, and don't underestimate the power <laughs> of body language. The men up there don't like a lot of blabber. They think a girl who gossips is a bore. Yes, on land it's much preferred for ladies not to say a word. And after all, dear, what is idle prattle for? Come on! They're not at all impressed with conversation. True gentlemen avoid it when they can. But they don't and swoon and fawn on a lady who's withdrawn. It's she who holds her tongue who gets her man. Come on, you poor unfortunate soul. Go ahead, make your choice. I'm a very busy woman, and I haven't got all day. It won't cost much, just your voice. You poor unfortunate soul. So sad, so true. If you want to cross a bridge, my sweet, you've got to pay the toll. Take a gulp and take a breath. Go ahead and sign the scroll, flat some jets, and now I've got a voice. Your boss is on a roll. You poor about it, Cupcake. If I become human, then I'll never see my family again. My sisters, even my father. Well, do you want Princey Poo or not? I'm five, four, three, two. Yes, 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 I'll do it. Where do I sign? Not just any ink, darling. Use mine. Beluga, Sefuga, come winds of the Caspian Sea. Larynxis, glassitis, sad max, laryngitis, love, voce to me. Now sing. Sing your voice over to me. Oh. 